Arts and Culture Insiders are in Austin, Texas for the South by Southwest Conference. Toronto Mayor John Tory was there networking and talking up the city as a place for businesses to invest. The gathering started as an indie music festival, so we're checking in on Toronto's music scene, asking if there's work to be done here while the mayor is down south. Well, joining me now is Miranda Mulholland, an artist, a record label owner, a music festival founder, and you also sat on the Toronto Music Advisory Council. How's the council going? Well, there's, there's, good, there's question, good news by the here. Way, yeah. There's good news here. Okay. Um, so the council met uh, many, many times during the first four years of its iteration. And in right. fact, uh, it sort of started as a subgroup before mm -hmm. uh, it actually came into being. Um, and there are a lot of things that, that have been implemented since mm -hmm. uh, TMAC, as it's known as, it's known as um, that had that happened, which is really good. We have um, just recognition in the city mm -hmm. that, that this is a, something we want to do. But um, you haven't met since the last election. Yeah, so one thing that we did do is we established a music office. Mm -hmm. So this is really important because it's creating a lot more uh, lines of communication between the council mm -hmm. and the mayor and what the community needs and desires. Right. So obviously you can say we want a music city, but we have to put various things in place. So that's what's happening now, policy changes, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Unfortunately, uh, since the election, we ha we lost Josh Cole on the council, mm -hmm. who was a huge supporter of, of music in this city. And so we're just waiting kind of for a champion to emerge. And that must be more difficult now with the 25-member council. I know. And I don't know how they're juggling everything. <laughs> well, this, I mean, was um, you know one of the priorities for the mayor. He yeah. wanted Toronto to be a music city. He mm -hmm. wanted to attract artists here. He wanted to have musical venues. Uh, so what has happened? What's the report card on that? Well, they've created a few things, a couple of... Um, of initiatives that are going to help in the meantime but some of the big chunky stuff has mm -hmm. to be done still so one of the things about a music city you can say that but unless it's a music friendly city but unless it's a musician friendly city it's right. not going to work so one of the biggest problems we have is affordable housing mm -hmm. affordable housing and affordable venues so there's a really good thing that's happened on and and maybe signaling what might happen on the horizon which is there was a tax initiative put in for cultural hubs mm -hmm. about a year ago uh, and this applies to sort of big Bigger, bigger organizations that are trying to put in something cultural, and that's that's a really good sign. Now, if that could just move over, if there could be some initiative that mm -hmm. would help for smaller venues, smaller capacity venues, to uh, have some sort of a tax break mm -hmm. for the owners of these venues, and then that would trickle down to the people who are renting them and trying to put on a lot of these shows where musicians start. Do you see a benefit for the mayor being at South by Southwest uh, right now? I mean, it looks like you're trying to move the tech sector. Uh, is that a good thing? Is, would that help the music well, industry I think, here? I think one of the biggest things about South By, it is a gathering. I wish I was there right mm -hmm. now drinking uh, margaritas and tacos. But, um, <laughs> in but the it, heat in would the be heat, nice. Yeah. That would be very nice. But one of the biggest things about it is, you know, Toronto is a great city. Mm -hmm. And you got to brand and brag. And mm -hmm. so having our mayor down there at this, at this hub mm -hmm. is actually a really good thing. But I you said you need a champion. Yeah. So you're still looking for a champion on council, and if it's, uh, it can't be the mayor, perhaps, no. so it's got to be someone else. Is there anyone emerging as your champion on well, council? Well, we've had some really good, Mike Layton's been amazing, mm -hmm. Joe Cressy also. We've got, we've got good people on there. I think there is a sort of a, um, a burden of time mm -hmm. uh, for all the things that they're doing, but there are things to be happening, and now we do have a Music City office, which is, which is really exciting. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Thank you no for problem. coming in.